Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, as you can see in front of you, you uh, we have a flipped over crayfish that's not exactly moving. Um, it's been there for a couple of hours now. Uh, and uh, basically in today's video, I'm going to talk about what to do with uh, dead crayfish. <laughs> So, uh, you know, uh, most of the times uh, when I used to have a 75 gallon tank and all the decorations and everything, uh, it's actually very difficult to, you know, find these dead crayfish and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, you know, I didn't exactly mind because, you know, 75 gallons and I had enough, um, um, enough filtration going on. And everything that I have to worry about a decomposed body and the number of crayfish in my tank um, you know I didn't have to worry about that because they, they would just feed on it you know because these guys eat anything they will eat anything so it didn't exactly have to worry about you know a dead crayfish um, but in this case let me tell you I have a 29 gallon tank with about 15 to 20 crayfish in there most of them adults about you know the size that you see right now so this they are very big they're at their maximum size which is about I'd say including the length of their claws I could say maximum you know four inches uh, if they grow a little larger then they can grow up to you know five inches but uh, by the looks of that flipped over crayfish back there I could see that it's one of the larger ones uh, meaning that it didn't die of anything else but um, of an old age so you know, the, as you can see, the water is super clear, crystal clear. So it wasn't exactly a disease, or it wasn't exactly attacked by other crayfish because of that size. Uh, no other crayfish will mess with it. So, uh, like I said, getting back to my 75-gallon tank, when I used to have a 75-gallon tank with approximately anywhere from 30 to 50 crayfish in there, um, didn't exactly have to worry about the dead crayfish unless I spotted one in front of my eyes. Um, then I would remove it from the tank because it'll only decompose and it'll cause, you know, some, you know, water contamination issue and cause health issues amongst the fish and other crayfish. Um, however, most of the times um, you'd be surprised to find out that these guys actually feed on the dead crayfish and fish, so you don't actually have to worry about the waste. Um, they'll just eat everything, every part of the fish and crayfish uh, when they die or if they spot uh, one that's dead. But, uh, you know, um, so you can actually, there are a couple of options for you to do when you spot a dead crayfish amongst your crayfish and, and whatnot. You can either leave them in the tank uh, as they are, just let them, you know, just be dead. And other crayfish that are hungry, that are, you know, looking for a late night snack or whatever, will feed on them. And in a couple of days, it'll be completely disappeared, uh, except for, you know, the two claws, because the claws are the most, it's the hardiest part of their body. You know, there's a concentrate of calcium uh, in the claws, so it's very difficult for even these guys to chomp on, th chomp on that. So uh, the claws will be left over. Uh, however, uh, if you don't want to leave them and risk for any uh, disease to spread around, you can actually remove the dead crayfish from the tank and either flush it down the toilet or toss it in the trash. Uh, it is an absolutely, um, you know, uh, very remorseful and sad event for you to, you know, go through. However, it's part of the nature. They, they're born, they live their life, and, you know, when the time's about right, they die. Um, fortunately enough, uh, they didn't die of anything else but an old age. And as you can see, I do take care of my crayfish really well with, you know, um, you know, ample amount of uh, space to hide and uh, enough amount of oxygen. And like I said, two, uh, you know, filtration going on and 50% uh, water change every two weeks. It's absolutely important when you, when you, you know, have the responsibility and you feel the responsibility. Anyway, um, so, you know, like in my case that I would suggest there's two options. You can either leave the dead crayfish in there for the other hungry crayfish to eat. Or um, in this case for me, since the size of the dead crayfish is quite large, I'm actually going to remove that crayfish from this tank and um, toss it, unfortunately, in the trash. I, I hate to say it. However, I have to. Uh, I don't suggest to uh, have them buried. 
uh, anywhere, to be honest, in your front yard or backyard or anything like that because when they decompose, trust me, the kind of odor that you get from the dead uh, fish, crayfish, other, you know, freshwater and saltwater animals is absolutely stinky. Uh, I hate to say it because definitely love these guys. However, uh, when they do decompose, um, you know, in the nature, they do smell unless you really, you know, do remove their organs and their brain and everything, you know. But, uh, yeah, so in this case, I want to toss them in the trash and the trash will be picked up tomorrow. Um, so that's how it's gonna go. So, uh, don't worry about, you know, your crayfish being dead inside a tank, uh, when you, when they do die, because, like I said, they will be eaten by other crayfish if you leave them for quite some time. Uh, but if you don't want to risk any disease to spread around or anything like that, um, definitely remove them from the tank because you want to maintain that, you know, the healthy looking tank and the, the health of other fish because I'm sure if you have the, the number of crayfish like I have, for example, as you can see, I have, was counting from the left, I have one, two, three, four, five, six in there because there's one right there. See the claws? Right there. There's six here and total I, I approximate it from anywhere from to 13 to 16 crayfish in there, mostly adults. And you know, good filtration going on. So uh, yeah, th those are the options. And uh, I think they live, from my perspective, I've, I've bred these guys, I've had these guys ever since they were born to the day they die. And I think the longest they live is approximately, approximately a year. Um, I know you can, you know, Google their life expectancy. They tend to say anywhere from, from two to three years, but um, in my case, most of, most of them die within about a year or a little past a year. Um, anywhere from nine months to 12 months is about the time that they live and die. But yeah, uh, if you have any other questions regarding crayfish and whatnot, leave it down in the comment section below. I will try to answer these questions as as you know with the most effort as possible and like as you can see I do take care of my crayfish really well and I am a master of these guys so uh, definitely ask away don't be scared or shy I will help you out all right well thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye yeah.